So it's the final day in Venice, which is a shame because I don't really want to leave. Today, I'm gonna do all the things that I didn't get to do yesterday because I missed them. So Doge's Palace, a few basilicas, and hopefully I don't have any problems with a vest on. We shall see, we'll find out. I'm excited to see what the final day has to offer. So stick around. <laughs> such a vibe in the cafes here. Everyone's just laughing. Great coffee though. Order it at the bar. Down it in one go. That's the Italian way. So here we go back to the Chiesa de San Giacomo Rialto. And it's open today. So let's head on inside. It seems to be quite a musical little church. It's got like cellos and violins but the clock up there is actually known as a bit of a joke to the Venetians because it's incredibly inaccurate. I mean, it's 11 a.m. now. Well, there's only one hand and it's pointing at nine. Right now, I'm at the Rialto fish market and this has some of the freshest produce you've probably ever seen in your life. All of the restaurants around this area get their fish from this market along with some fresh vegetables. And it seems that all the residents do as well. Like, if I had an Airbnb and I was cooking, I would definitely come here to get my food. It's not always open though. I think it closes at 1.30 p.m. But you'll have to check. You can't come to Venice and not go on a gondola. That's the one that I'm getting on. So I've just realized it takes you from one side to the other. So it's the shortest ever gondola ride. <laughs> but it was worth it, 250. That was the shortest ever gondola trip of all time. It's worth it if you don't want to go on a gondola ride for 100 euros for an hour or so. So now I'm going to walk over to the church of San Formosa, I believe, which is 20 minutes from here. So I bought a beautiful little notebook as a gift for my mum, wrapped up nicely. You'll find a lot of really nice souvenir gifts all around the streets. So you make this? Yes, with, with this press. This press. Exactly. It is wonderful. <laughs> it is beautiful. So the great thing about all these little souvenir shops is they all make their own souvenirs. So in there he had the book press, which he makes his own books with. I'm definitely going to go back to that place and pick up one of those as well. Gift number two. So I'm back at the church of Santa F Formosa, Santa Maria Formosa. There we go. And I really hope it's open. Because I came all this way and I'll be really disappointed if it's not. If you're also wondering how they remove trash from these houses, it's on these little boats. They transfer them. Interesting. Yes, it is open. So I always love visiting churches in cities because I feel like it, it's a really good representation of like the history and the culture that the city has to offer and to learn about the city, really. But to be honest, I've been to many way more beautiful ones than that one, so I could probably give that one a miss. Next up though, Doge's Palace, finally. And it won't be closed because it's midday, so I definitely cannot miss it. Beautiful. Even better than yesterday. Bridge of size. The queue for Doge's Palace is absolutely mental. Look at that. But the lady at the entrance said that you can actually buy your ticket just around the corner in another museum called the Core Museum. And then you'll avoid having to queue up for looks like an hour, an hour and a half in this mental queue. So in the afternoon, it definitely wasn't like this. It's nowhere near as busy as this. So if you want to avoid the queues, I guess come late afternoon, first thing in the morning. This is San Marco Piazza. And at the end is Museo Corda, which is where I'm going to buy my Doge's Palace ticket.
So if you go to one of these cafes here, I think it's this one, they've got live music playing, piano. I'm assuming it's extortionately priced though. So they've got brand new state-of-the-art COVID temperature checkers, which is pretty cool. So the Museo Quarry, I mean, you know, it was a history lesson in itself. There was loads of old stuff. If you're interested in it, like the history, you might enjoy it, but I wouldn't have bought a ticket for that individually. But it is worth it because it includes the Doge's Palace and it's better than queuing up in that massive queue. Here we go, I'm inside Doge's Palace. And absolutely no queuing whatsoever. prison house of the Bridge of Sighs, where the prisoners would walk across the bridge, take their last look at freedom, and then they would enter the prison cells. They're pretty dingy, these cells. Blimey. What a depressing way to say bye to freedom as well, looking out at how beautiful Venice is. It's even got that real old creek that, that you imagine prison cells to have. That was Doge's Palace and it was really cool actually. It was really interesting to find out about the history, about how it was used for political debates. See, one of the biggest rooms in Europe where they would go through their political discussions. Now I'm gonna go to Rosso Pomodoro restaurant, which is the same one that I went to yesterday because the food was that good. Maybe I'll get a pizza this time. Who knew that you could do that with glass? So back at Rosso Pomodoro, and this time I went for their famous pizza, because they're known for their pizza, not for their pasta. And that looks amazing. Got an Aperol spritz as well. Last day, got to make it super Venetian. Mm. This is honestly some of the best pizza I've ever had in my life. It's unbelievable. They don't actually slice it here. I think you're just meant to rip it off and then just fold it over. And then yeah. So. so good. Wow. Rosso Pomodoro. 100%. Come here for pizza. So I've just noticed public toilets in Venice. One euro fifty to use the toilet. That is mental. Or just go into a cafe buy a cappuccino for a quid 50, one euro 50, and then you can use their toilet. Travel hack. Or of course, just don't drink anything while you're here. So I've made it to the Santa Maria Gloriosa de Ferrari. And it is very grandioso, it's massive. And it's just nice to just sit by the canal, by the water, with a cold can. You just admire it, you know? This is what Venice is all about. So I'm not gonna go inside because, I mean, it looks like every other basilica inside. I did have a quick peek and it's like four euros to enter. And I don't feel like splashing four euros up the wall. So directly next to the basilica, the mini basilica, just there, we've got Tintoretti's artwork in this gallery. So I'm gonna go inside. So I'm not normally into artwork and paintings, but that was pretty spectacular. Next, going to a gelateria, and this is meant to be another one of the best ones in Venice, and then I'm gonna head back to Murano. It has gotta be like 30 degrees I would love nothing more than to jump in that canal. But don't do it, because it's illegal. You get in a lot of trouble. So this is quite a nice little piazza. Walking from the San Polo district over to Gelateria Il Doge. 
which is in the Duasadero district. I think it's Duasadero. Don't count on me for the pronunciation, because we know that's not my strong point. Tastes clean to me. Tastes good. Taste of nothing. Yeah. Taste of water. Ill doge. So I got one scoop mango this time. Good. Very, very good. I much prefer gelato to ice cream. It's far better. Selling vegetables off the boat. Venetians doing it right. So that has easily got to be one of the best things to do and the best way to end the trip in Venice. Taking a Vaporetto, the water, water bus, along the Grand Canal to see Venice for the last time from the water. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Shh. Uh, this one. Think this one? Okay. So I got my second Venetian book as a gift. I think it makes a perfect present. And they make it in that shop as well. They press them. So it's like a hardback notebook. Perfect gift idea. Back at the water bus station, about to head back to Murano to collect my bags. I might grab a beer at the hotel cafe and just relax until I need to set off to the airport. I've already packed my bags. So yeah, it's a shame I don't really want to leave, but you know, as Nelly Furtado said, all good things come to an end, right? <laughs> Wow, no wonder I come board alone. And that is it. I'm about to head back to the airport now for my flight at 8 p.m. on the airport water taxi from the Hyatt. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I do hope this has been helpful for booking your trip and organizing your trip to Venice. Thanks again for watching and I shall see you guys next week.